Sponge. Bob. Sponge. Quat pants. Square. Sandy. I quid word. Cheeks. 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 This is a whole dedicated movie about Sandy Cheeks. Dedicated wham. Twitter has been loving it. There's so many good things about it. Is it better than advertisement movie, the advertisement <laughs> movie we watched last? <laughs> it's debatable, I think. It's insulting in many other ways. Let's do it. Wow, this this is the PS5 render of Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yeah, I know. Remastered, reworked, underwater, out of water experience. <laughs> <laughs> she also has an opening music call number. All my neighbors know my name is Sam. Great. <laughs> That is really, really, really processed. You can bet your bikini bottom dollar. It's great. Get it? Because it's like a bottom dollar, but it's bikini it's bottom. It's bikini dollar. bottom. What is the exchange rate of a bikini bottom dollar to a regular United States dollar? Uh, one to one. Yeah, it's real money. My yeah. God. What happens if the dollar collapses? Does the bikini bottom economy collapse as well? Too long enough and you can crack any nut. <laughs> Absolutely. Isn't he like good at catching jellyfish? Yep. That's his whole shtick. Yep. For 20 years, he has been good at catching jellyfish. Oh my God. The claw from the hit movie Toy Story. You've never seen it. It's pretty niche. Ah! What's happening? Ew. Ew. <laughs> I didn't like that. Jump, you're in water. Is this gonna be another I lost Gary story? Cause I swear to no, God. No, no, it's losing bikini bottom. So we we jumped right into the movie. Like normally a SpongeBob movie starts in like a day in the life of SpongeBob, just like chilling. No, we had the day in the life of Sandy Cheeks as that song though. That's, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy's entire day is sing about Texas. We're in like the second act of the movie already. We're just here. Yeah. It's totally different from all the other SpongeBob. Bob movie. Bikini Bottom is in trouble and they have to go on an adventure to save Bikini Bottom. Given the title of the movie is Saving Bikini, Bikini Bottom, Bottom, the Sandy Cheeks movie, I think that Sandy Cheeks is going to have to save Bikini Bottom through the power of Texas. Boots, Marine Biology Lab, Galveston, Texas. Boots Laboratory? That's the lab that I work for. What You work there and you had to deduce what the acronym for your workplace is? Like an FBI agent seeing F FBI and they're like, Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is like a cut scene in a, in a video game. They're just standing there like this. Boots, that's where I work. And then you die and you hear that dialogue 45 more times. That's like a checkpoint. So every time you come back, it's like, Boots, that's where I work. Everyone I ever loved is gone. And all my streaming videos on demand, I can't demand them anymore. I hope they delete Paramount Plus with no explanation. Did you know that this movie leaked a year before? before it came out officially. It was just done a year ago? What? <laughs> and the Plankton movie is already leaked in full the day this came out. <laughs> oh my God. Did you not know that? No. <laughs> Going to Texas to save our friends. Yeah! Why does SpongeBob just know the exact shape of the state of Texas <laughs> as seen from above? Well studied. <laughs> Whoa! Hell yeah, brother! He has historically known everything about Texas. It's like earlier we saw a blob on, on a car and I said, why Bosnia? Because oh I God. knew it that was, was Bosnia. That was weird. This is a true thing yeah. that happened on, on the way here today. And I was like, I know that's what Bosnia looks like. And he Googled Bosnia and it was it was literally Bosnia. So, But I also question why a random BMW in the middle of Kentucky had a Bosnia sticker on the back of their windshield. Oh my god, my butthole every time I have to poop. <laughs> Steam must be gushing with the force of nearly 12,000 metric tons of pressure. 12,000 metric tons of pressure. Does <laughs> it just fire out of you? Yeah. Oh, 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 just a thunder bender. Oh, oh, that's a bump. That's a bump. They made him so freaking annoying. SpongeBob in every other movie freaking would have seen the claw and screamed and ran away. But in this one, he was like, oh! He was hyper-focused on his jellyfish net stem. They made him dumber than Patrick, and I didn't know they could do that. Because he's always supposed to be like basic level of intelligence, but annoying. And then Patrick's just no intelligence and annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sandy is all the intelligence and annoying. And Squidward's there. But it's not like actually annoying. It's like charming annoying. It's not like whatever is happening right now where he's like, oop, I just bumped myself. What a fender bender. Like, okay. 
They couldn't make him seem competent in this movie because it's Sandy's movie, I guess. I mean, he kind of acted like this in the last movie. Not to nearly this extent, but kind of. He hasn't said a coherent thought in the whole movie, and I think that's what's bothering me. Ah, look out! <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't he drying out? There it is. <laughs> so this is yet another SpongeBob movie where they go to the surface. <laughs> so they all are going to hit the exact same points forever. What's Plankton going to do this time? Do you think Plankton's going to collab with SpongeBob and they're going to be on a team like in the second movie, I believe it was, that did that? Is it even going to be Plankton as the villain or was he just giggling because he's Plankton? Plankton saw something evil happening and just like, yes! So who's the villain? Has King Neptune returned? Is it David Hasselhoff. He wasn't even a bad guy. Well, he is now. And neither was King Neptune. He is now. There's Galveston. This is moving so fast. <laughs> We're in Texas now. I thought it was going to build to that. Yeah. We're in real life Texas. God, yeah, that looks like real life. Definitely couldn't have just kept the animation style and recreated this. No, because every single SpongeBob movie needs to have a realistic surface. Yeah, and they all suck. <laughs> Oh, well, he's dead. He's impaled and dead and like bleeds out. I want R-rated SpongeBob movie. <laughs> There's plenty of water in the desert. If you know where to look. <laughs> okay, that was actually a little funny. Just a water fountain in a cactus. Come here. Give the little sponge a hand. Give the little sponge a hand. No, you just ignored the fact that his arm is completely sentient oh, yeah. and responds you to didn't his know verbal that? command. That's just, that's how SpongeBob is. This is live action like the Lion King live action movie. This ain't a cartoon anymore. It's still a cartoon. It's like the movie The Mask where it's just real life cartoon. The Mask, the hit movie The Mask, which we did a video on. That eagle screech makes me so irrationally angry. Every time you look at dirt in a movie that isn't in the Middle East, there's that eagle screech sound. But if it's in the Middle East, it's all of a sudden just freaking sitar one. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like the Simpsons movie. I love the Simpsons movie. I rewatched it recently. I've heard it's good. Wait, you haven't seen it? No. I don't think Drew's ever watched anything, guys. Just watched like Dune. He grew up with watching freaking Schindler's List and Star Wars. Yeah, I just didn't watch the Simpsons. So. And I didn't watch any of those until he showed me. So I watched even less. <laughs> see any of them critters. Are these the people she was trying to call earlier? She just work with humans? It's obviously humans. Why would you think it'd be more animated characters? Man, I don't know. Because every single Spongebob I movie- I must be stupid. It's Spongebob canon. The surface is just real life. <sighs> SpongeBob and Sandy Cheeks are currently missing. Missing? Oh, the boss isn't gonna like that. Oh. Missing? She's a fishy with a mission and a something to say. She's not a fish. Yes, she is. Is that Wanda Sykes? She's Sue Nambi. My favorite thing ever is Nickelodeon's NFL broadcast where they're like, wow, <laughs> he got the big pass. We're gonna slime them. Oh, look, SpongeBob's here to talk about field goals. The worst thing ever. I love that you hate that because everybody freaking loves the Nickelodeon broadcast. I think it's trash. <laughs> Oh my god, is that Dennis? Oh no, it's the snake from Rango. Don't say Rango. Rango. That's Rattlesnake Jake. I love that movie. I saw it like 10 years ago on my mom's DVR. Actually, it was longer than that ago. I was like 10 years old. I was born 10 days before 9-11. Put the pieces together. Who do you think did it? <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't 9-11 until I was born. When death stares you right in the face. Hey, do you know who this character reminds me of? Rattlesnake Jake from Rango. Jude left, so I'm allowed to say that again. Rango. Yeah! out of here! Is this a family of equally annoying squirrels? Is that what this we're- This is Sandy Cheeks family. This is the Cheeks family. Hey, don't tread on me! Did they just make a don't tread on me joke? Yeah. Now they're a bunch of little, little, little weenies. They are weenies. That, that one on the right, that is a member. Member, like our members. Like our join our members. <laughs> that snake gets to talk to us on Discord. Members only. I'm debating if I would rather be watching this or Harold and the Purple Crayon. 
I love Squirrel Family. They're all so funny and original. They all have unique personalities, completely different from Sandy. They're not all the same thing at all. Sandy's gonna be like, I left my family because they're annoying, but then she'll learn the meaning of family by the end of the movie. OMG, Puda, I am so sorry. You say OMG again, I'm shooting you. We're gonna find him. That was some acting. It is only temporary and we are going to find him. We're gonna find SpongeBob. I want that sponge! I want that sponge! Me when I buy a scrub, daddy. Comical thud and crash. <laughs> We're funny. Please think so. Now hold your britches there, Mr. Pants. She ain't the only one who's good at mechanical science. Mr. Pants. So which part of his name is Square? That's his middle name. SpongeBob, SpongeBob Square, Square Pants. Pants. Square SpongeBob Pants. Square Pants. I've always assumed Sponge was like a prefix. And then Bob oh, is his name. No, his name is SpongeBob, one word. Square Pants, one word. But he just said Mr. Pants, which would lead us to believe that Square is not actually part of the last name. Do you think this dude knows the official like legal name of Spongebob? Everyone, Everyone knows does. that. If the humans living in Texas, thousands of miles away from Bikini Bottom, know about Spongebob Squarepants, I guarantee this random squirrel Elvis impersonator would also know it. They know about Spongebob Squarepants because Sandy's research was linked back up to the Boots Lab, and that's how they know. They know about Spongebob Squarepants because of the TV show that started airing <laughs> in the late 90s. <laughs> I can't wait for the nostalgic moment where we learn about a backstory for a character that I would rather see shot in a public square. I found the problem with the engine. A kitty cat! So only squirrels are cartoon talking characters, but the raccoons are not. They're just regular animals. Oh no, I was not paying attention. Okay, there was a <laughs> real raccoon on screen and it's been the only real animal so far. I don't think you're supposed to think about that. I sure am. There was a real raccoon, which is also like kind of a rodent among these rodents, but they, they have faces <laughs> and thoughts and that one didn't. And that bothers me. How do me. you know it doesn't have thoughts? Because it went... <laughs> Though the other ones had like an urgent point of saving Bikini Bottom or whatever. This one kind of does, but this one has a point of saving Bikini Bottom, but it's not very urgent. It's not like, oh no, Plankton's going to enslave and kill everybody. And no, it's, it's, oh no, Wanda Sykes is going to turn us into toys. No, it's Tsunami Muse from <laughs> Drag Race. <laughs> the movie's so boring. And I rarely say that about movies. Did you see this in the theater and did people leave? No, no, no. This movie didn't release in theaters. It was Netflix exclusive. But the Ryan's Toy Review movie is in the theaters in like three days. Why? Because it's freaking awesome. <laughs> this ain't great after like the Dan Schneider Nickelodeon foot thing. That's just like a running thing yeah, about Nickelodeon was... having issues with feet and we're just going <laughs> to lean into that real hard yeah, right now. Yeah, that was really uncomfy. <laughs> hey, look, more... Stop! <laughs> hey, Brent. This isn't a Miyazaki game. Get out of here. More feet. What do you want everyone at the pool to be wearing? socks? That's equally cursed, but also, like, we don't have to see all the feet. Yeah, we do. We gotta tickle them, too. We have to have fun. <laughs> the tickling was weird. Hey, do you remember when the Nickelodeon logo was a foot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was like during the height of everything going on and they made their logo a freaking foot. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. A little girl who loved fish. Oh, I'm excited to see Tsunami's backstory though. It's the best scene in the entire movie. When I was a girl, I went to the ocean. You are not ready for this. It's the best scene in the movie, I think. She wished she could take them out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> ah! They couldn't just like find a nope, little girl. Nope, nope, this is so much better. <laughs> it's literally not. Oh my god, you can <laughs> see the mask. And then it like flips size. <laughs> ah! <laughs> How is that the worst <laughs> thing we've ever seen in one of our movies? This might be the worst movie we've watched on the channel because it's not only is it boring, but it looks bad and it's annoying. From a beloved franchise. Yeah. It's ruining something. Yeah. Yeah, that was insane. Are you ready for her Mr. Electric moment? Because that's not as bad as it gets. Oh, no. Was it? Why do you got a body gimbal? This Why is are you a foot shorter than you already were? This literally looks worse than the robot fight scene in Spy Kids 3. <laughs> Humor 
Bueller. I feel like in 2024 or even like 2016, if you're making a cleanup aisle, whatever joke, you're scraping the bottom of the barrel. When I worked at Kroger and I had to announce that we needed cleaners in places, I wanted to kill myself every time <laughs> I had to do it. When I was the cleaner who had to respond to those calls to clean up messes that other people made, it made me want to kill myself again. Bren was the cleaner. I was the mess. Stop. Fish! No. How is this possible? That's not how that worked. It's a scientific breakthrough! If that's ever a recurring SpongeBob character, I'll freaking destroy my TV. Oh no, it's a Texas Twister! <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have a guy left up there? He's just there. He was late to getting back on the... <laughs> this is that Boeing, like, spaceship that isn't working. What Boeing? What do you mean? Boeing has never killed anybody. <laughs> the astronauts that are stuck in the ISS. Boeing has never done anything Boeing wrong. has and never will kill anybody. Or leave anybody stranded in space. We love you, Boeing. Thank you, Aww. Boeing, for sponsoring this video. <laughs> no! Hey, look, they made it back to Bikini Atoll. They let the earth rotate under them. It was pretty clever. Oh, is it going to fall right into the spot? Or is it going to be crooked? Please be crooked. At least make it crooked. That would be funnier. No. Even the roads reconnected perfectly. God forbid we make a joke in this movie that's supposed to have jokes in it. What was the standout joke from this movie? Cheeks. My favorite joke was when they made this movie and we're going to put it on Netflix. I'm so glad that we've introduced five new characters or whatever, I think. That we're never, ever going to see again. If you threatened everyone in my family, I couldn't tell you any of their names. Uh, you could probably get one of them. Uh, no, I seriously have What's no idea. What's the dad's name? <laughs> pa. Now, what's the mom's name? Remember, my family's yeah, yeah. at stake yeah. here. Okay. So, okay, well, if the dad's name is Pa, what's the mom's it's probably name? probably like Linda, because why not? It's Ma. Okay. The movie's so boring. It's so that bad. That insanely boring and stupid and awful. CIA torture method. We lock you in a room and make you watch the Sandy Cheeks movie over and over. We try Guantanamo <laughs> Bay torture, torture <laughs> methods. Well, we have a whole playlist of better SpongeBob movies. Even the one that's an advertisement had jokes in it. So go watch that one instead. Watch the original one because that's the best one. Oh, God, it's a Texas Twister. Have a day. day.